Hello and welcome back to the Bad Back Gardener. Today we are going to be planting some tomatoes. Uh, this, I'm going to show you how uh, I'm planting a lot of my tomatoes. I'll probably do a couple different ways, but this is one of the way, one of the ways I've done it, and I've been doing it for the last couple years uh, this way. And what I do is I collect all the used toilet paper paper rolls. I have people even giving them to me now, but I use those instead of peat pots a lot of times. Uh, they're nice and deep. They disintegrate in the once they go in the ground, they disintegrate. You never know they're there. They work really good. Give, kind of give you a deep root system too. Uh, so that's what we're going to be doing. And uh, because they're kind of tall, they didn't work out real good in a normal size tray for growing seeds. So I had to make my own this year. So I'm going to try it. Hopefully it works out good. Uh, hopefully they don't have any problems. But uh, what I did, uh, what I made them out of, was this. It's kind of like a... a uh, lawn product it's real thin and what I got I got something shipped to me at one time with this in and it was a big sheet of it and so I used it I cut it all up cut into strips cut a big piece in the bottom and then cut some long shorter pieces for the sides and then I took some uh, Gorilla Tape and I taped them together then I uh, got some of the Flex Seal like you see on TV and I, I coated them, I coated them multiple times to try and keep them from leaking. So, and that seemed to hold them together really well. And so far they're holding up, they seem to be strong. This is the first season for them, so we'll see if it actually works out good or if they fall apart or start leaking. But I give them quite a few coats, so hopefully they'll be waterproof and they'll hold the water in when I'm watering the plants from the bottom up. But, and then they hold my, hold these, toilet paper rolls real stiff and, and straight up. Last year I had kind of make a tray and it didn't work. They were kind of falling over and stuff. It, it, they still grew okay, but it was kind of a mess at times. So, so that's what I'm doing this year. So I grew, I made them out of that, with some tape and some flex seal. So I made, I made three different trays here is what they look like. You kind of see the bottom of them there. See them coated there. I made three trays. So I'll, I'm going to grow tomatoes in this one. I uh, may grow something else in the other ones yet. Uh, I'm not sure. I may do some regular peat pots for some tomatoes too because I grow probably about 150 tomatoes and uh, I, I plant those. So uh, I give away a few, but most of them all go in my garden. So yeah. So I, I put a lot of, I can get like, I think there's like 55. In this tray, so it's it, it's it holds pretty much, and I can get a, a good good tray of tomatoes here. So what I do, I've already filled some of these up here, but and I got my own mix here. I got some kind of a mix of different kinds of soil. I got some uh, a coconut husk, the the latest thing they, and then uh, some just some regular potting soil, just some uh, seed starting formula. And, and got them all mixed together here. <clears throat> I've done that in the past and I've had real good luck with it. But uh, So what I'm doing, I'm just filling them up. You don't even have to close the bottom. They stay right, <coughs> they stay right in the uh, right in the thing, excuse me. Um, and I'm only filling them up about that far. It might be a third, third of the way because what I want to do when I plant the tomatoes, after they get up so high, I can finish filling in the dirt and that lets the roots come out and it actually makes them stronger, makes them thicker, and a better better looking plant too so so we'll just fill up a few of these here before we get started with the putting seeds in well, some of the seeds i'm going to be planting are uh some of my the tomatoes i grow maybe five six different kinds of tomatoes uh, my favorite kind of tomato which i'm going to be planting here is the fourth of july tomato it's not a big tomato it's a smaller tomato but it's called fourth of july because it ripens very early and it's from Burpee, uh, but the, the taste is great. We love making salsa. That's the bulk of my tomatoes are made into salsa and fresh eating and the, you can't beat them. They start producing early and they go and go and go all season. And they're the last ones to stop producing in the fall. Uh, they just keep coming. May slow down a little bit during their super hot weather or dry weather, but they can pick back up again when the fall when it cools off a little bit. They, they pick right back up and they, they give me a ton of tomatoes and I really like them. Uh, 
another another kind of tomato that I'm going to be growing is called Parks Whopper. I just started growing that last year, and I was real happy with those. They were they come out turned out real nice looking tomatoes, and they're real good for for eating and salsa too. And we can some tomatoes, just regular stewed tomatoes. But uh, and then uh, there's we grow some fantastic 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 and some this year I'm going to try some genuine which is a, a kind of a heirloom marriage tomato they're calling it so we're going to try some of those too uh, for today for this video I'm just going to plant uh, I believe just going to plant some 4th of July's uh, so you don't have to sit here and watch watch me plant all day here and fill in all these I mean you, you're going to get the general idea so that's what I'm doing here so let me get a couple more of these here three more to fill and then we'll, we'll do some planting here but yeah if you just hold your hand on the bottom like that and just push it down a little bit the soil compacts enough and it's not super dry but it's not real wet either but it compacts enough where it stays right in there you can just it doesn't fall out when you go to put it in and once you get the water coming up through the bottom it becomes good and solid the roots roll, grow into it and uh, they can grow out the bottom even if they need to into the water, but uh, it, it really worked good last year. So I'm even going to do more this year since I made extra trays. Hopefully, it won't be as big of a mess. So this is the last one here. Let's get this filled up. All right, that's about a half a tray there. So we're going to take. We got our Fourth of July tomatoes here from Burpee. I order a couple packs of these because I plant a lot of the tomatoes I plant are these. And those are the, actually the ones I have started in here that you may have seen in the first video that I made, the introductory video. That's what I have planted. It's the, the 4th of July tomatoes. So I'm just going to drop one in each hole. I do have a I do have a seed, a cedar, a little, little cedar that I, I use sometimes, but sometimes I think it's just easier to use my fingers. It goes just as fast, I think, than sitting here tapping on the, the cedars. But I do use it on occasion. Depends what I feel like doing, but I'm just going to do it with my finger. stick to my fingers today. So one seed in, each one. And they say in the package you only get 30 seeds, but I can see by the pack that I got that I got a lot more than 30 seeds. So, which is fine with me, because it gives me some more to plant later, and And I, it actually gives me my early start, so I have some early start leftovers for this year, for next spring. So before I get my, if I don't get my tomatoes ordered in time, I can start start my real early tomatoes in in January at some point. So, so it works out good. Did I get a few extra here? And I always like to have a few extra in case I have have issues with some coming up. These these ones I usually burpee. Uh, Fourth of July is usually are very reliable coming up. They'll they'll be up in a few days. It'll be a matter of a couple of days, and I'll see them springing up here. Let's see, got a couple more here. See that one in there? In there. So all right, so 
that's it for the to tomatoes. Then I take my sprayer and I'm going to just wet the tomatoes or the seeds down. It gets them a quicker start. So I'm just spraying in here. Just enough to wet the seeds. I always like to wet the seeds while they're open and then cover them after that because that, that way I know they're at least getting a little bit of moisture and starting that process of, of breaking open to, to start sprouting. This is uh, this has worked out good for me and I'm, I'm probably going to do more and more of this. I may even make some more boxes in the future if this works out good. I may go to all this because I collect, the, my family got a bigger family and we collect a lot of these through the years. So I got a whole garbage can full of them out, out in my garage that I, I've been saving up and people have been giving me. So I got quite a few of them, at least enough to fill probably twice as much of, of the boxes, probably six boxes worth. So but it works pretty good. So, all right, now that I sprayed them, I'm gonna take, just drop a little, little soil on top of the seeds. You only wanna plant them about as thick as the seed is is what they tell you. That's what I usually do. Make them too, too much soil on top. back and press them down here before I spray them again here with, some, with the water again. Okay. Get down and get just a little pressing. Just make sure that they're making good contact with the seed. No real big air bubbles or anything in there. You could even make these out of real thin plywood if you needed to. Maybe use screws, it might even hold better than... I just taped them because I knew I was covering them with the with the flex seal I was hoping I would hold them together and so far it has so I don't know if these don't work out I may try making a thicker thicker box It'd probably be heavier but something I could put actual screws in the side and maybe hold them together a little bit better so but uh, that's what I got going there so all right there's the 4th of July so now we'll spray them again now that I packed them down a little bit Since my, my seed starting formula is kind of moist already, it's not soaking wet, but it's not dry out either. So it, it takes the water real well and it's actually a little bit damp already. So uh, it, it sucks the water up real good. And it also is a little damp already for the seeds to start sprouting. So. All right, that's about it. We're gonna take this, I'll take this and put it in my, my uh, seed growing area. I have a light station built, which you may have seen on the first video. Put that in there, put the water and, and bottom water it so it soaks up through. These will all, this will all soak into these cardboard uh, toilet paper rolls too, so they'll become good. But they stayed together pretty good for me last year. I had some, some plants that I kept a little extra long time because of the weather. I didn't get them out the week that I thought I was going to get, and they, they went on for a little bit longer than I should have. They were a little bit delicate to get out. You just had to grab them with your fingers and plant them, but they, they, I didn't lose any. It wasn't like they were disintegrating in my hand and the plants were dying or anything. You just have to be a little bit more careful if they're, if they're in the trays and stuff too long before you get them in the ground. So that's about it for this video. And uh, if your back ain't hurting, you ain't working.